The Syrian army has reportedly given Daesh terrorists 48 hours to withdraw from an enclave south of the capital, Damascus. According to Syrian media, the army and allied forces are ready to launch an operation in case the terrorists refuse to surrender the enclave around the Palestinian Yarmouk camp and the Al Hajar al Aswad area. Government forces had begun shelling terrorist positions on Tuesday in preparation for an assault. The area is much smaller than the eastern Ghouta region, which was recently retaken from foreign backed militants. The Syrian army and allied forces have gained a swathe of territory from the terrorists by launching military operations or by letting them leave for other parts of the country. Well, I talked to our correspondent in Damascus uh, to learn more about the Syrian army's ultimatum to Daesh terrorists. The Syrian army uh, and armed forces uh, gave uh, terrorists of uh, Daesh a specific period of time uh, for withdrawing, being bust out, of course, uh, similar to previous deals reached with the other uh, terrorist armed groups in Syria outside Al Yarmouk refugee camp and Al Hajar al Aswad, both uh, inside uh, Damascus city. Uh, if uh, terrorists of Daesh refuse to accept such a deal, they will be attacked uh, strongly by the Syrian army. Of course, uh, uh, just uh, directly after the army was able to secure Douma and eastern al Ghouta fully a few days ago, army started sen sending reinforcements to that area surrounding uh, Al Yarmouk refugee camp and Al Hajar al Aswad, with the aim, of course, of uh, perhaps launching a strong military uh, attack, a ground offensive against Daesh terrorists to purge the area of Daesh. Usually, Daesh does not accept uh, to be uh, to withdraw or to be part of such a deal. Uh, however, uh, one time, Daesh terrorists accepted to be uh, bust out in Al Qalamun.